Section 3.10, Composite Transformations with Rotations. Our objective is students will successfully complete composite transformations containing rotations. using constructions. Okay. <clears throat> so to start with, um, I'm going to go ahead and skip these steps. I'll put them up at the end. Um, but copy an angle and copy a segment are the two constructions that we need to use to do these rotation constructions. Okay. So we're going to slide down to the example. So we want to rotate segment AB 65 degrees clockwise about point C. Now, remember, clockwise and counterclockwise, it's important uh, that we pay attention to that. Okay. So clockwise, remember, goes in the direction the hands of a clock go. Now, if we are above it, that means we are going to the right. But if our shape that we're rotating is below the point, that means it's going to look like we're going to the left. And then counterclockwise, remember, goes the opposite direction of the hands on a clock. And the same thing, if you are below the center, I know we think of clockwise as going left. If you're below the center, it really ends up looking like you're going right, but you're still going in that same counterclockwise direction. So now, um, to do this construction, you're first going to make an arc across the angle. It could be any size you want, but bigger is always better. It uh, takes away a lot of the human error. Okay. you got to make sure that it hits both sides of the angle. Without changing your radius, you are going to make a circle around the point that you are rotating around. So this circle has the same radius as the arc that we drew across the angle. Okay. And we're going to use this circle and arc multiple times. Okay. So that's actually step one and step two in our directions. Um, step three is where we begin repeating the process for the different points. So starting with A, and the reason why we're starting with A is it is furthest um, counterclockwise, if that makes sense. It's furthest to the left. Um, so we're going to start with A. We're going to connect A and C together. Okay. We're going to go down to our angle and measure the opening. This is how we're copying the angle, is we measure this opening. Okay. We come back to where the line and the circle intersect. Put our compass on that intersection and mark off on the circle. Okay. We're going to connect C to that mark. Now we're going to, so that's copy our angle. So this angle and this angle are congruent. And we're going to leave off the congruent marks because we don't need to add extra marks and make it even more messy than what it's going to be. Now we're going to copy our segment, so measure C to A. Without changing your radius, you're going to swing your compass over to that line that we drew and mark it off. So this distance here is the same distance as C to A. So that point where our mark and our line intersect, that point is going to be A prime. Now we just repeat that same process from point B. Connect B and C. Measure our arc on our angle. From where our line and our circle intersect, 
That's where we're going to put our compass and make an arc across the circle. Connect here to your center of rotation. And then measure C to B. Spin your compass over to that line that you drew. Mark it off. At that intersection, that point is going to be our B prime. And then we connect A prime and B prime to get our segment again. Okay, notice how we did not use the entire circle. Since was, this was the first time doing this construction, I wanted to do the whole circle, but you don't necessarily need the entire circle. You could have gotten away with just making a big arc, which in our steps, on step two, it says make an arc slash circle around the center of rotation. Um, that's what it's referring to. You may only make part of the circle. You may only have room to make part of that circle. So for our steps, these will be in the notes, um, but here are our steps. And I'm going to try to point out where in our picture they are. Okay. So again, it's copy an angle and copy a segment. So step one is make an arc across the angle. That is right here when we made the arc across the angle. Okay. Uh, step two is make the circle with the same radius as the arc. So that's this. Step three, that's where, and this again is where we start our repeats from. So step three is connect the moving point to the center of rotation. So connect A to C. Okay. Once we had that connection, we came down and measured this opening. Step five, we put the compass here and made the mark over to here. We connected to that. Okay. So that's all the way down to step seven. Okay. Then on step eight, we put our compass on C, measure to A and swing that compass over to our other line to connect or to get where point A is, sorry. And then to do point B, we just start back over at step three and go back through those steps again. Okay, next example. It's the same thing, just this time we're going counterclockwise. Okay, so step one, we're going to make an arc across our angle, any size that you want, but remember bigger is better, so you don't want to make super tiny arcs. Now, go ahead and make your circle around point D. We want our circle, if it intersects the object that we're rotating, that's fine, but I'm not going to have it intersect our angle because then things get really messy and there's no point in crossing that angle. Um, we are rotating counterclockwise, so we are going in this manner. Okay. So we want to start at the furthest clockwise point that there is, which is point B. So connect B and D. Okay. Measure our opening of our angle. So we're going to put a compass on one point and our pencil on the other. Measure that opening. Come to where this intersects and we are going clockwise so we want the compass to go this direction. Mark off on our angle on our circle. Connect D to that intersection. Then measure from D to B. So 
swing that over to the line that you just drew and mark it off. So that intersection is point B prime. And now we're just going to repeat for our other two. Our next clockwise most point is C, so connect C to D. Now, if your point ends up on the inside of your circle, you want your connection to hit that point, but then you want it to go through all the way to the circle and intersect the circle. Okay. Now, we're going to measure our arc, or measure our angle, sorry. Called that different than what I've been calling it. So measure your angle, come down to your intersection, mark that off on the circle, connect that back to point D, measure from D to C with your compass on point D, swing that measurement over to your line, mark off. So that is now point C. Notice as with our um, other constructions, I'm using different colors for different points so you can keep track of which lines go with which part of the construction you're doing. Connect D to A. Measure your angle opening. Go to your intersection, mark it off on the circle, connect D to that mark, measure D to A, swing it over to the line, mark off, that is going to be A prime. And then take your compass and connect your points. And again, at the end, you want to either color in lightly or highlight your final image.